Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Google Pay and more specifically, we're gonna go over the steps to send money on Google Pay to someone, or if you wanted to pay somebody on Google Pay. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with Google Pay, it's a popular peer-to-peer -peer payment app, similar to something like Venmo or Cash App. So a lot of folks will use this to split bills at like a restaurant, or sometimes you can use it to send family and friends money for like maybe a birthday or a holiday gift. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app right now. It's this one right here. It's mostly white, it has this colorful G for Google there. If you don't have the app already, be sure to check the video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it now. All right, I went ahead and opened the app and this is the home screen. So here on the home screen, you're gonna see different contacts that Google has pulled from your email and also different notifications that Google has for you. So for example, mine, it says Google Pay money transfers are always free. Here they're reminding me that you can get your money faster with Google Pay if you use a debit card, but we're not gonna worry about that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and show how to send money with your Google Pay app. The first step is you wanna make sure that you have a payment method set up with your G Pay app. And how do you do that? That's right down here at the bottom. It's these three little options. You got home, payment methods, and passes. I'm gonna go and click on payment methods. All right, I went ahead and clicked on payment methods and this screen popped up. So if you use the GPay app like I do, then you're already gonna have payment methods set up. So for example, I have a Visa card and a MasterCard set up there. But if this is your first time using GPay, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and click this blue button right here called add payment method with a plus sign right here. Let me go ahead and click there now. All right, next the screen pops up and this is where you can add a payment method. You can use a debit card or a credit card. You can also click right here on this little arrow and then that can give you the option to add a bank account. I usually just use a debit card because it's easy to use. Go ahead and enter in all the required information. They're gonna ask for the card number, the expiration date, the security code, and then also the address that's attached to that card. I'm not gonna add another payment method because I already have two attached to my GPay account. So let me go ahead and go back to the payment screen. All right, so here we are back on the home screen for Google Pay. As long as you have a payment method, in order to send money, what you wanna do is go ahead and click this little blue button right here at the bottom. It's called send or request. It has a plus icon next to it. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next the screen pops up and at the top you have the search function. So if you gave the app access to your contacts, your contacts may pop up there. I'm actually not too sure about that because I don't like to give apps contact information. If you know for certain if it will automatically populate if you give access to your contacts, be sure to leave a comment below, let the rest of us know. But usually what I'll do is I'll go ahead and enter the email or the cell phone number of the person I'm going to be sending money to. And that way when I send the money, they'll get received notification via email or phone number that they have access to funds through Google Pay. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter the email address to the person I would like to send money to now. All right, I went ahead and entered in their email address here. You can also use their cell phone number if you know that. I prefer to use the email and that way there's a paper trail or a record of it. Once you've entered that information into the top line, go ahead and click this blue button down here at the bottom. It's called done. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next this screen pops up and it is asking me to verify the email address that I entered in. It says, is this correct? They're letting me know that that information is not in my contacts and they're letting me know that I need to make sure it's correct so that way the money goes to the right person and any kind of fraudulent transactions may result in a complete loss of your money. So just make sure that you're sending it to the right email address or the correct cell phone number. For me, it's correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this bottom button here at the right. Yes, it's correct. All right, next this screen pops up and then you can go ahead and verify the person up here on the top of the screen that you're sending the money to. And you wanna go ahead and enter in exactly how much you would like to send to that person. So I'm gonna go ahead and just send this person 50 cents. So I'm gonna type that in. Here's the decimal point right here. I'm gonna go ahead and enter it now. All right, I went ahead and entered the amount then I'm gonna be sending to this person and this little button pops up, it's called add note. So if you're sending it as a birthday gift or you're paying for something, you can go ahead and add that note. That way that person receives the money along with the information on what it's for. Let me go ahead and click on that button now. All right, so this pops up and you can just type in a note here. I'm gonna type in something like thanks right now. All right, I just typed in thanks. I'm gonna click done right here. All right, next you wanna go ahead and click the send button right here at the bottom right. If you're requesting money from this person, you can use that function right there. But most of the time I just send money, so I'm gonna click there on the bottom right now. 
All right, I went ahead and sent that payment out and then it popped up with this confirmation screen letting me know that that 50 cents has been sent out to that contact. They're also letting me know that that person has up to 14 days to accept the payment through their Google Pay account. So they're gonna get an email confirming that they have 50 cents in there and to go ahead and register with the Google Pay app. So that's how you send money through Google Pay app to someone. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below, let the rest of us know how. But as far as I know, that's the easiest way to send money through Google Pay to someone. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, please subscribe and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.